hello. Let me put all six foot of this body into this tiny space. Well, as you can see, we are gathered here to do blushes. So part three, part three or part four? It's part of the declutter series. We are doing blushes today. We're gonna do palettes, we're gonna do singles, creams, everything in between. So let's just jump in. Why do we have lipsticks? I don't know. And more MAC lips. Wow, I didn't even know those were. Oh my God, I was looking for Oyster Girl. Oh my goodness. Does my camera seem a little crooked to anyone else? Just me? Okay. So I'm gonna start with these palettes just to get them out of the way. So we have the Too Faced Christmas in Rome. Really pretty, don't ever use, but like such a good neutral palette. I feel like I should keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I have a keep basket and a get rid of basket off to the side here. Jouer Champagne and Macaroons, probably definitely saying that wrong. I want to keep this one. I really like citrine. My citrine is broken, like my single one, and I like these. Yeah, I'm keeping. Was that out of focus? Wow. She's a good one. These two Milani ones. I have never, ever used either one. So this one is Golden Hour Glow. I feel like it's really pretty. But I feel like it might almost be like too light for me except for this shade. That's gonna be a maybe. And then this cream one is Sunkissed Glow. I honestly don't even think I tried this. I'm gonna put this in my little bin to try out in a video. Um, Jouer, so we have Darling, which is one of my favorites, even though it's very, very light. I feel like this might almost be too light for me now, like when I'm self-tanned or if I have like a natural tan. Oh, but I don't wanna get rid of it because it's so good. That's gonna be a maybe. And then the Adore Duo, also very, very light. This used to be the one that I would like wear all the time. But now I feel like I'm always tan. Some form of tan. That's also gonna be a maybe. That's really sad. So these three MAC ones were all limited edition. These are so old. I'm not getting rid of them though. They're MAC limited edition. We're keeping all three. That packaging definitely needs to be scrubbed off though, but keeping. Um, this little Marc Jacobs Lush and Libido Air Blush, remember these? Really good, keeping. Uh, Rude Cosmetics Amiga Ombre Blush in Juanita. This one I don't really wear. Um, I did try to wear it a couple times and I don't know, the tone was just a little off for my skin tone. It is nice quality though, but I do think that I'm gonna part with this one. The Love Cheek Duo from Natasha Denona. I don't love this blush color, but I really like this highlighter shade. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's so pretty. I'm keeping, I'm probably not gonna do great with blushes, okay? I'm just not. Um, we have more palettes in the other drawer. This is not like my palette drawer. We have blush palettes over. <laughs> wow, we'll get there. Okay, these two, well, three MAC ones. So we have Serenity Seeker. I love the way this looks, but I don't wear it. It's more like a highlighter. Ooh. That's actually really pretty. Wait, what am I looking? Oh, wait, that's, oh my God. The MAC one is under this one, under this one. I was looking at this like, oh my God, gorgeous. No, that was the last one. <gasps> what? Oh, wow. That is almost non-existent. But I'm gonna keep it because, ow, I just smashed my nail. It's MAC limited edition, love the packaging. 
probably could wear that. I don't know. Into Eternity. This is the one that I do actually wear. This one's really pretty. It shows up on the face. I feel like they're not swatching really well. Oh, that's really pretty. Keep it. And then the Patrick one, Take Me Home. Ooh, I kind of want to wear that. I haven't worn that in a long time. It's very pretty. It's very, very pretty. Ooh, look at that color. Love that. Oh yeah, she stays. Most of the MAC stuff is gonna stay just because I love MAC. Uh, Spellbinder from MAC. So light. But I'm I'm not gonna part with my Mac stuff. Crisp white, so very very light. <sighs> but I'm keeping it. Look at that packaging. Are you kidding me? So good. Oh, I did sell this one. I actually have to ship this out like today. But I wanted to wait till I filmed this part of it to ship it out. Um, I paid way too much money for this. This is the Marine Life from Mac. I mean. Are you kidding me? Never touched. Gorgeous. Gotta ship this out today though. So she's she's leaving the family. I know I have more Mac. Uh, this was from, what collection was this from? It was like, oh I actually have two of them. I forget what the collection was called. This one I do wear. This one is way, way, way too late for me. <laughs> but you know that I'm keeping both of them. And then the Marilyn Monroe Legendary, too late, but uh, hello, it's Marilyn, we're keeping. And then Cheek Pollen. This one I used to wear a lot. I don't find myself really wearing it anymore, but yep, yeah, you know, you know what I'm going to say. Okay, the Estee Edit, the Barest Blush in First Lover. Why did they get rid of the Estee Edit? I really liked it, and I really like this blush. It used to have like a, um, like a gold top. What do they call that? Like an overspray. So if you're seeing that little bit of gold, amazing, keeping. Laura Geller Blush and Brighton in Sunswept. I have to get rid of some stuff that we're not doing good. Oh my god, I just realized I'm doing really bad. Okay, maybe we can get rid of this one because I haven't worn this in years. It's almost like too dark to be a highlighter, but a little bit too like glowy to be a blush. But it's so pretty. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'll get rid of that one. L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted in, I used to love these, Fantastical. I think this one used to be my favorite. These are good. They don't swatch that great, but on the face they are beautiful. I have to keep that. I have to keep it. I must. And it smells like peaches. Uh, Milani. Oh, I love Milani blushes. Rosa Romantica, this one I always wore as like, kind of like a blushy topper, highlightery kind of thing. Sorry if my camera sucks. I, I can't get rid of that. Oh my god, I'm doing really bad. This is my backup Luminoso, and this is the original Luminoso before they like changed it. Why did they change everything that's good? I'm keeping it! I feel the judgment. I feel it. <sighs> what can I get rid of? Uh, Milani, what is this called? Sunset Passion. I mean, they're just so good. I couldn't, I couldn't part. They're so good. Milani blushes, top five all time blushes. I, I can't. Um, okay, these Rimmel ones. Like, I feel bad getting rid of these because we can't get these in the U.S. anymore. My aunt sends me these from Canada, but they are so incredibly light. Sorry, that is glaring really badly. This one is coral. This is probably, like, the darkest one that I own. I mean, they're gorgeous if you have, like, really fair skin, which I do not. 
Oh, that's really sad. The pink rose used to be one of my favorites, but like, look how light that is. Ugh. And then, oh, Santa Rose used to also be one of my, what? <laughs> what? Who is wearing that? Not my ass. But the formula is like so good. But I mean, that's like a translucent powder for me. I think it might be time. I'm going to regret that. The Honest Blush in Foxy. Love. Love this blush. I got this at Target. And it reminds me a lot of like Milani blushes. It's so pretty. I'm keeping. Okay, I can get rid of this one. Note Desert Rose. It's matte. I'm not a big fan of a matte blush. I like something with a little like life to it. So I will get rid of that one. Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon. I love the peach one, but I don't wear this one like ever because I feel like it is almost like a, a bronzery. I don't know, like a really fair bronzer shade. I think I can part with that. Becca Songbird. Oh, Lord Jesus. It's so good. It's so good. I forgot I had it. I forgot I had it. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Where are we? Look at that. <laughs> Keeping. You know I don't part with Becca. Look what I freaking got. Catch me working on cars in my spare time. Oh, you need your oil changed? Me, rolls into frame. Ha ha! Yeah. <laughs> yes, bench. I got you. Oh. I have a feeling that I'm going to fall off of this at some point in this video. Oh, we missed a little Milani one. This is Peach of Me. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's so pretty. Sorry, this is like a weird angle. It's so sparkly. I'm going to get rid of that one. It's so pretty, but it there's too much glitter. Okay, all these Wander cream blushes. Oh, oh my God. So pretty. So pretty. This one I know I can get rid of. Uh, double date. It's just a little bit too light. And I just have other cream. What? That's a terrible swatch. Oh, there. It looked really weird at first. I have others that I... Wait, that looks really pretty. Hold up, I thought it was lighter. Wait. See, I still feel like that's a little bit too light for me. Oh, it's so pretty, but it's almost like too dewy. If you're dry, these would be good for you because they are very emollient. I think I might get rid of that one. I'm gonna get rid of it. This one though, Oh wait, hold on. The line is called Double Date. So this one is called Sweet Talker. This one is called Be Mine. This red, like orangey red, oh, so good. Oh, I, there's a freaking fruit fly. Hey, ah! Ah! Do you see it? A peach. Okay. That, I mean, that is beautiful. I'm definitely keeping. And then this one is Honeymoon. Oh, so good. Why am I not wearing these? Like, why are they in my backup drawer? Oh, stun. So pretty. Keeping and getting out to wear. Thank you. Okay, staying on the creams, we have the Fenty Cream and Fuego Flush. Yes. Why did I buy this color? Can anyone tell me why I bought this color? It looks awful on me. It's like yellow. I hate it. I'm getting rid of it. I wore that like one time. Galactic Star Blush in Bora Bora. 
I used to wear this all the time, but now I look at it and I'm like, that is, there's no way. I have to get rid of it. It's way too light. My blush preferences have really changed. Uh, Clinique Nude Pop. Tara might like this one. Like, how could, I could never. I, I have to, I have to part with her? Wow. Okay, Clinique Pansy Pop. We love. I'm actually going to get this one out to wear. Now that is a terrible swatch, but I'm telling you this on the face is really, really pretty. It's just like this like bright, like bright yet like subtle lilac. Oh, so pretty. Getting out to wear. Um, this Dollar General one, Tropical Sunset. It's a cream. I wasn't a fan the f this, they remind me a little bit of those Persona ones. No, Wander. Wander Beauty. The cream ones we just watched. Wow, that fruit fly really has me feeling things. I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to get rid of it. The Essence Satin Blush in Satin Love. Now, when am I going to wear that? I'm getting rid of. But that formula, so good. Oh my god, <laughs> good. Annabelle Perfect Blush in Pronto. How pretty is that? Oh, now this I could wear. Oh my god. Wait, you need a close up. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm keeping and I'm getting out to wear. What the heck? Two from Persona. So we have Terracotta. Which I feel like these blush colors don't look good on me. They're like too much like my skin tone. And then it all just kind of gets very like murky. I don't know. I need a brighter blush that like really like pops. Do you know what I mean? I th think I might get rid of Terracotta. This one's Georgia. This one's really, really pretty. Definitely keeping her. Keeping and I'm going to make Terracotta a maybe. I want to think about that. These Too Faced uh, heart blushes, I'm not getting rid of. I will not do it. I, I like to just have them. They're my little collector's things. I'm keeping all of them. And you can't stop me. Okay, three Pixie. These are not Pixie. These are ColourPop. Where did I get Pixie from? I don't know, but they're blush sticks. I'm going to swatch all three and then I'll show you. Okay, so we have Cool It, Aloha, and More is More. Um, I'm definitely going to keep Aloha. I don't know. Cool It is looking really pretty. I want to do a bigger swatch of that one. Let's put her over here. How do I feel about that? I mean, the formula feels really nice. I don't remember if I was like a fan of these or not. I haven't worn them in so long. I'm going to keep these two, the first, these first two, and I'm going to get rid of this one that has the, like, luminosity to it, because, eh, just not my favorite. That one is more is more. And then, why is this in here? Spring Roll from ColourPop. I feel like I was wearing this as a cream blush, which ColourPop lipsticks actually work really well as a cream blush, and I'm keeping... And I'm keeping it with my blushes. Yes. And we're back on the floor. Okay. Milani Cheek Kiss and Rose Romance. I don't know that I've ever wore this, which is really sad. Oh, that's so pretty. Sorry if the last couple clips were wild because sitting on that little rolling stool, no, absolutely cannot happen. Oh, this is so pretty and the formula feels really nice. I need to wear that immediately. Oh, where's my wipe? Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> it's right here. All right. Hot Mama from The Balm. Who remembers the love affair? What do we want to do with her? Oh, my hand is wet. Like, I love it, but I feel like I have so many that look like that. I don't think I can part with Hot Mama. I don't think I can do it. 
I'm keeping. Okay, this one I will part with though. Dusk from Glossier. It's one of the cloud paints. I just don't... Whoa, that was enough product for two weeks. I just don't love this color on me. Because it's like, I don't know, it's like too close to my skin tone. There's not enough of a difference. And then it just like matches with my bronzer and I don't know. I used to love neutral blushes, but recently... I don't know they're just not my thing so I'm gonna get rid of that one wet and wild baked blush in oh ah! oh god <laughs> dare to soar look at that color it's so pretty <gasps> I love I need to wear that oh that's so pretty I'm keeping and look at the hummingbird. I love hummingbird. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love hummingbird. <laughs> Four putty blushes? Really? And there's more in my vanity. Uh, this one, ugh, the name is like so tiny on the side. Why do they do this to people? Tahiti. This one's really pretty. I'm going to keep Tahiti. Okay, this one is Bahamas. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This one I have never worn. This one is Bali. That is way too dark for me. Why did I even keep that in the first place? I'm getting rid of. And this one is Turks and Caicos, I think. Yeah. This one is pretty, but I feel like I have so much. Like, I'm getting rid of it. I'm just going to keep this one and whichever one I have up on my vanity, Tahiti, I'm keeping. Oh, this by Terry blush that my aunt got me, Sexy Pink. I feel like it might be too light for me. Yeah, that's way too light. But I've kept it because it's like a, it's like a memento. So that I will keep as like a, just like a little special, you know. Alright, what do we have back here? Ofra Blush Bronzer Compact in Crew. Oh, that's so pretty. I need to wear that. What if we mix them? What happens? A little deep, like luminous peach? Yeah, keep it. Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. I, I want to keep it, but... I really truly don't wear it, but I do love the highlighter in here. That's the one thing that I do wear from time to time. Look at that highlighter. Are you kidding my life? It's so good. But the blush. I feel like the blush is too light. Maybe it's like a blush hopper. Who am I kidding? I'm keeping it. I act like I'm actually going to get rid of it. The Pixie Cream blushes are incred. This one is Fleur. Ooh, Incred. Who even... Oh, God. That was annoying. Um, ow. That didn't swatch well, but honestly, these are so good. The orangey, like, peachy one I have up at my vanity, and I love, and I think I'm going to keep this one, too. Okay, NARS. Liberation. I'm keeping because I love this side. Look how pretty. Oh my god. Yes, a thousand percent keeping. Uh, misconduct. I'm keeping. I'm probably not going to get rid of any of these deep throat. I've had for so long the packaging is like sticky. But I'm keeping. This one is luster. It used to be one of my favorites and like I can't imagine wearing that now because it looks so light. Uh, Madly, uh, even lighter. I think I might be able to part with Madly. I'm going to see if Tara wants that one. Uh, threesome. Not my color. Not my color. Why do I have it? I can't get rid of that. Uh, 413 blacker, bleaker. Uh, yep, here. I think it's bleaker. <laughs> I think that's like a place, actually. Um... Not my color, but like I feel like it's like a little collector's thing. Mm -hmm. 
staying. Uh, free soul. I'm going to see if Tara wants that one also. And then, Im, um, here, I'll let you read it. Impudique? Impudique. Oh, love. Putting up at my vanity to wear. And then this Morphe one in Pop of Peach. I like this one. I got rid of a lot of my Morphe little trios, but this one always, she always hangs around. She's a good one. I'm keeping. And then a little Chanel dust bag. Okay, let's move on to palettes. I'm in the groove. Let's not break it. Let's not lose it. Okay. Jouer Rose Cut Gems. I do like this one, and I recently just put this back in here. I had it up at my vanity. I was wearing it. I wore this color a lot in the summer. This one, a little bit. This one, I'm definitely keeping. 1,000. Uh, these two Tarte ones, these are so old, but I just can't get rid of them. I don't know why. I did give... Hang on. Let me go through these, then I'll tell you. I'm keeping both because they're just like collector's things. These hold a lot of nostalgia for me. They have a lot of memories in them, so I'm, I have to keep them. And I did have a palette like this that was filled with Tarte single blushes that I gave to Nick's girlfriend. So that was good. I got rid of like all of my Tarte singles, except for like this one that I like depotted from a palette. I don't even like these are Makeup Forever. This is, I think, Illamasqua. This, I think, is Becca, maybe? Yeah, Becca Flower Child. We're going to go through these types of things. Not right now. Maybe at the end of this video, so I'm just going to set that aside. Uh, like, what is happening here? One product? Is this MAC? <gasps> I was looking for Shade Stir, like, six months ago, and I couldn't find it, and... Wow, okay. And then I depotted this because the packaging that this was in was massive, but like this one isn't any better. This I could probably get rid of. Who am I? Okay, this little Tarte cheek palette. So pretty, but definitely too light for me. I'm gonna see if Tara wants this. I feel like she will. So we'll put that in the Tara pile. Uh, this was from the Too Faced Holiday Collection. This I can part with. I do think this highlighter is really nice. It's really pretty and like shiny and glowy and glossy. That's the only reason I keep it. I really do like that highlighter. Okay, maybe I'm going to keep it. I'll put it with the maybes. The Pac-Man Wet n Wild little palette. This is so cute. Like, I don't want to part with it, but I do. Do not use it. Could I use this as like a highlighter? No. You guys, <laughs> I have so many things that I don't use, but I don't want to get rid of them. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Wait, this is cute. Like the quality is good. I think I'm going to keep it. Oh my God, I'm doing so bad. Chicathon from Benefit. <laughs> the sad thing is I have all of these in singles. I have every single one of these in a single, which you will see in part two probably. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just putting it out of the way. Uh, the Becca, Chloe, and Malika palettes. Let's see. So there's obviously two of them. I love this one. I do wear this one. I do not really wear this one. I could see if Tara wanted it because I'm definitely keeping this one. I'm going to see if Tara wants this one. She's going to have a whole pile. Okay, that stays. This little Becca Sun Chaser palette. Like, it's really hard for me to part with Becca stuff because they have always been one of my favorite brands and I still have not come to terms with the fact that Becca is gone. Like, I've blocked it out as if someone's died and I'm not ready to accept it. Like, Becca, what are you doing to people? Um, so I'm keeping it because 
I have ties to Becca that I can't break. I cannot, I, I can't do it. Uh, this little makeup geek, what is this called? Flawlessly Ever After. Another brand that like Marlena, the audacity to just desert us. Like I really can't believe it. And I love Marlena, one of my favorite people in the world. One of the sweetest human beings you will ever meet. Brilliantly smart. Like I'm a huge fan of Marlena. Do I want to keep this though? Like we're getting off topic, Nicole. You guys know it's hard for me. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. I'm getting that out to wear. I'm getting it out to wear. This is why we do these videos so that I can rediscover forgotten products. Sephora Pantone, this is from years ago, but I love this color. And I used to not love it, and then my love for bright blushes appeared, and I was so glad that I never got rid of it. Originally, I kept it for this shade, which is a gorgeous highlighter, like inner corner shade, and the formula is just incredible. That's why I hate to part with things, because like, the things that I like change. I used to love a neutral blush, and I regret getting rid of so many of my bright blushes and I can't get them back. They're at the women's shelter. What am I going to do? Go snatch them back up? The audacity of me to even consider it. How's girls will mind? Um, but I'm keeping this. Okay. Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani. I do not wear it. But the collector in me feels like it should stay. So it's going to stay. It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Glow. This is so pretty. You know what's coming though. I don't wear it. Um, I think I might be able to part with this one. I think. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. This little MAC insert, we'll just put her out of the way. Too Faced. This one I will get rid of because I'm keeping the other one. I like that one better. I'll part with that. This big ass Makeup Forever palette. Hold on, gotta open it. Hi, don't ever use it. Ever. Like, never, never. I have used the highlighter shade, which is really pretty. I have so many products on my finger right now. Hi. What should I do with this? Like, I just feel bad get ridding, get, what? I feel bad getting rid of it. I don't know what's wrong, with you guys. Um, NARS Unfiltered 2. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep it. And Virtual Domination. I'm definitely keeping for the big Laguna. I like my NARS ones. I don't want to part with them. I just don't want to. Makeup Geek. Oh, these are my little singles. We're going to get to those. And then the Rach Loves palette from Pixi. I really, can you guys see? I don't want that mirror to blind you. Um, I really like this palette, but oh, mine broke. And I have to be so careful with it. But the quality of this is so nice. Like this shade. Can you see that? They are so glossy and shiny. Amazing quality. Amazing quality. I have to keep it. It's even though it's like breaking before my very eyes. I have to keep it. Whoa. That is great, great quality product. Definite keep. I can't believe the thought even crossed my mind that I might part with that. No. Okay, so my maybes. This Milani one, I think I'm going to part with. I have so many other blushes that I would pick over this one. I can get rid of that. And then these two Jouer ones. And the only reason I'm getting rid of these is because they are just so light. I will see if Tara wants either of them because she's very fair and she likes very neutral blushes. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of both just because they're just... They're just way too freaking light for me. And then Terracotta from Persona. Let's give her a little swatch. 
See, that's just like so close to my skin tone, it's like pointless to even wear it. Oh, it has a beautiful sheen now. I'll see if Tara wants it. She has a whole pile here. I feel like I want to get rid of this. I just kind of moved this out of the way and we never decided what we were going to do with it. I feel like I should get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. Should I get rid of it? feel like I should. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, let's, before we organize, let's talk about these. Benefit Chicathon. I don't need this. I have all of these in singles. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, this Makeup Geek. So we have Becca Wild Honey, which is so very pretty. This is an Illamasqua, Illamasqua Naked Rose. Then this is a Summer Fling from Makeup Geek, and this is also a Makeup Geek. Infatuation. Maybe we could put these all together into like one palette. These tart ones, I'm pretty sure that I can get rid of. I wish I had like the palette that these were in. Like, what was I thinking? Uh, MAC Shade Stir I'm definitely keeping, so we'll just pop him right there. And then all of these guys, oh my god, ew, my god. <sighs> I, I mm, don't need these. I do want to keep this Becca one, which is Flower Child, so she can go there. This is a Makeup Forever. This is Cherish from Makeup Geek. This is also a Makeup Geek. Bliss. This is also a Makeup Geek. Puppy Love. That one's actually really pretty. That Tarte one I can get rid of because it's way too light for me. I used to love that one. That used to be like a favorite. That's why I depotted it. And all three of these Makeup Forever ones, I think I'm going to get rid of. And the Ella Masca one, because it's way too light. So pretty much we're getting rid of everything except for maybe that. No, I'm getting rid of all of it. This whole thing, including the palette, I'm getting rid of. Goodbye. I'm going to take this guy out of here. And I think I'm going to put all of these little singles into this. Am I keeping all of these? Wait, hold up. Am I keeping this one? Infatuation? No, I don't need that one. But I am keeping Becca Flower Child and Shade Stir. This Illamasqua one, Naked Rose, I'm going to get rid of. Um, I'm sure we're going to find more blush singles along the way. Somewhere hiding in this room. So I'll just kind of hold on to this guy for now. Do I even like the colors of these? Let me zoom you guys in a little. Beautiful. Ooh. I will always love you. Go off Whitney. Your love is king. So pretty. Justify my love. A little Madonna. Thank you. Love hangover. Oh, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. Like, Too Faced, could you bring these back? Not for me, but for the other people that need them. They're so good. They're so dirty. Wait, am I keeping this one MAC one, Serenity Seeker? I really, truly do not need this one. But the collector in me. I have a problem getting rid of MAC stuff. Not so much other brands. Well, like Becca, I do. 
um, but they can work. This drawer is just going to be, everything's just going to be like laying. That's how I need it. about this wow I'm really feeling great about this we did good okay wait I'm starting to feel better about things this looks really great like I have all of my backup blushes in one drawer do you know how awesome that is like palettes and singles that has not happened for a very long time um, oh my god, I have a hot cheese curl on my sleeve. That's great. Okay, um, so I'm going to cut it here. I think the next category is going to be bronzers and face powders. I don't know. We also need to dive into eyeshadow palettes. That's going to be at least like three parts. It, there's a lot. There will be more blushes coming, though. I'm going to film another part and show you guys what's up at my vanity. Like, originally, this was just going to be backup drawers. But I feel like while I'm doing this, I might as well show you what's in my vanity and just have it be like a whole makeup collection, you know? So there will be more blushes coming next and then we'll dive into bronzers and all that stuff. So thank you for watching. Love you guys so much. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Peace. Sorry for that brief intermission. Look how pretty th Are you kidding me? You got to go, bitch! Hold on. I'm about to murder a fruit fly. <gasps> it's on my... It's on my camera. Why are you... Oh. Oh. Come here, you little fricker. Where did you come from? There's a no fruit down here. Just me. <laughs> Swing at the beach. Okay. Stop moving! That noise is driving me crazy. Not me straddling the camera. Oh! Oh, God. I can't... I can't feel my feet. I can't feel my feet when I'm with you. <laughs> but I love it. Oh god, tingles. But I love it. Ow. Where did that freaking fruit fly go? No! Oh my god, it was on my, it was on my face. Wait, I'm going to have to kill this fruit fly because it's really, really annoying. It keeps buzzing in my eye. Since when are fruit flies, like, attacking people? This is not okay. Oh my god, I think it's like on me. Come on, bitch, show yourself. Oh, they're burning. Oh, yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm burning up. I'm burning up. I'm I don't know what to do. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know what to do. Oh, my God. Does that ever happen to anyone where your neck, like, gets caught? Like, it feels like your bones get caught, and, like, then it cracks, and then you can move, but it hurts? Forget it. Oh, I feel like my bones are just <laughs> brittle. <laughs> Shut up.